I hope that everybody's taken their Dramamine today because we're about to go on a wild ride. X Hardcore Gamer here about to give you my review for Curved Space. This game takes its inspiration from classic arcade shooters and as such the story is paper thin. While going through the campaign mode, you will find a bit of a story with even some branching plot points, but I'd be hard pressed to tell you one important thing about it. The main idea and concept is that you're out in space mining energy on these space stations while being attacked by interdimensional bugs. For the most part, the majority of these enemies will take the shape of spiders, but there will be some other ones you'll find along the way. The official description calls this a twin stick shooter, but I find that really doesn't properly describe how this game plays. At first, I thought I was going to be transported back to the early days of the Xbox 360, where pretty much every week you're getting a new Xbox Live Arcade twin stick shooter, but that was far from the case with Curved Space. Instead, this is more of a third person shooter with direct control from right behind your ship. While in a traditional twin stick shooter, you'd be able to fire in multiple directions in a split seconds change by flicking in different directions, you're actually going to use the right analog stick to be able to change which way that you're facing. With no pun intended, let's dig right into the main mechanic of this game, which is the curved levels. As you progress through the game's different levels, you're going to find that they're going to have a variety of ways that they have a curvature to them. As you're firing your weapons, and unfortunately the enemies as well, you're going to wrap around in any which way that the gravity will take them. This leads to the bullets firing over the horizon and out of sight, but still being able to take out the enemies. This not only affects where your firepower goes, but also how your spaceship will travel around on the station. Even those of you with the strongest of stomachs will potentially find yourself experiencing motion sickness while playing. I was able to handle playing on the default settings, but my wife had to look away after just one second of footage. If you've been actually watching this video to go along with the review, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Thankfully, there are a bunch of different options with various degrees of sliders that can be adjusted so that you can find what would make it most comfortable for you. Once you find what makes you most comfortable as a player and you've learned how to navigate the levels, you're going to shoot the enemies and unlock new weapons. You can have up to two weapons equipped at the same time and some of them may even have only a limited amount of ammo. Strangely, while you're using a mouse, you're able to use each of the mouse buttons to independently decide which weapon you're going to fire, whereas on a controller you have to press a button to switch between the two. On top of being able to pick up weapons, once you complete a level, you'll also be able to pick from a variety of upgrades. These upgrades only last for your current playthrough, so you have to choose wisely. Fans of shooters will find a lot for them to sink their teeth into as they're trying to string together combos and get the highest score, all while also trying to unlock everything they can. I was able to complete the campaign in about two and a half hours, but then it also loops back over again so you can continue on the hard difficulty level with all of your upgrades intact. Once you're done with the campaign, or if it's not your style, there's also an arena mode, an endless mode, and a survival mode. Every mode, including the daily challenges, include leaderboards for you to try to climb up the ladder. While the graphics aren't super detailed, there is a nice style to them and it all runs flawlessly. On my RTX 2060, I was able to get a consistent 60 frames per second at the 4K resolution. This all while having ultra settings. To go along with this fast paced gameplay, a major highlight with the game is the soundtrack. It is a synthwave soundtrack from artists such as Scandroid, Three Force, Cassetter, and Fury Weekend. Not only does the soundtrack fit the game's style and tone perfectly, but it is a fantastic soundtrack that can be listened to on its own. There's even an option to just sit and listen to the soundtrack within the menus, and it will be available for purchase on its own separately. Once I learned all of the game's mechanics, I was immediately hooked and found myself completing the campaign in one sitting. I just kept finding myself hooked wanting to just do one more level and trying all the different modes and competing on the leaderboards. The developers themselves say that there's about 8 hours of gameplay if you're a completionist, but I would argue that you could have even more because of the high replay value due to competing on the leaderboards. I hope that the motion sickness options are enough for people to be able to enjoy it because I don't want them to miss out on all the fun that I was able to have. I have seen some fans complaining online that it's not a twin stick shooter as advertised, but I say to look past that and play the game for what it is, and I highly recommend it. The best part though is that you don't even have to take my word for it. There is a demo available, so you can see for yourself if you like the gameplay, or if it's going to be too much for your motion sickness.
as always, I want to thank everybody for watching, but I also want to give a special shout out to our indie warriors. Mitchell Hall, Kevalo, Bunny, Bill Tcas, Christian Cruz, Strychnine, Rosie Syntax, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, Jesse, Falco Lombardi, C. Coyle, Skeptism, Jen Rose, and Julian Kolbis. Thank you again, as always, for all the love and support that you've given I Dream of Indie. We couldn't do this without you. There are so many different ways that you can help and support I Dream of Indie, so feel free to check out all the cool little links that we have. Thank you again, as always, for watching, and until next time, enjoy gaming.